Thank you. Kyle, welcome. Thank you. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Where was your head coming into this game? Because obviously you didn't get to start. Um, it's just about winning one game. I said to the lads, I've just said there, you know, I had a talk before we came out for the, for the game and the manager made me speak. I'm not really good at speaking in front of a big crowd. I don't really like it. But I just said that, you know, my dream's in your hands. Obviously, I would love to be there, but I will be with you, whether that's on the field for 10, 20 minutes, um, or I'll be cheering from the sideline. I think I was over there when we scored. It's all been a bit of a blur, but, you know, my role as a, as a captain, as a senior member of the squad is, I need to set an example. You're going to have setbacks in football. Um, of course, I wanted to start a Champions League final, but it's not about me. Um, if I was playing a solo sport, I play tennis. I'm in a team game, and that's why, you know, I'm, I'm, I just love being in the, a part of this team. No, but you, you, you're doing yourself injustice there. You've been absolutely unbelievable this season. Yeah. And the way Man City have been playing in terms of moving stones into midfield, when you're not in the team, the balance doesn't seem right for me. So I was obviously disappointed that you didn't start. But that's a great attitude. I think you've got to look back and reflect and think, you're one of the best ever Premier League, not just Premier League, world fullbacks. How does that feel? No, I, it was the one trophy that I've missing. I've been very fortunate since moving to this club that I've been able to pick up a lot of trophies along the way. But, you know, this one was the one that we was missing. Um, and I think not just me, you know, I was looking around and I said to Kev, like, no one now can question him. No one can question him because that's the one thing that everyone, you know, rates you on, is the Champions League. Um, but now we've won it, we've done it. The club's now on the map for the Champions League and we've also done the treble as well, which is incredible. You've been here since the start with Pep. You were certainly one of the first <clears throat> players that he brought in to try and change Manchester City after his first season. There's been a lot of teams, you know, over the last sort of five or six years that have that have changed. I mean, what is the difference with this team that has got them over the line to win the Champions League rather than the teams before that you played in that were obviously very successful yeah. domestically? I don't know. I don't know. Um, there's just something about this group of players now that it's, it's different. You know, you. You get into the change room and there's obviously a lot of big characters, a lot of big players and, you know, um, even, you know, you look at the man that's hugging Michael oh. now that he, he's come in and he's had, to, he's had to take a big spot in Fernandinho and to do that with how he's done it, the mm -hmm. mannerism that he's done it, um, you know, obviously, Kun's left, David's left, we've missed big players but and I think the spine of the team as well. Not a winner. But we, we've done it, we've done it and that's what we all, you know, what we all came here to do. And he got man of the match, eh? I don't know how. I don't know how. <laughs> I'll pass you on. You don't want to speak to me now, do you? Oh, no, you're oh, no, 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 no. But I, would, I, I think I got you. <laughs> Thank you very much.